Hey guys, DJ Rob here with Rhythm Source Productions, and um, today we're going to do sort of a do it from scratch um, thing, sort of like Mikey Mike, but a little different. Um, uh, what I was needing is I was needing a cabinet built for my uh, PAR 56 uplots, and uh, right now I was just put them in, in the, I was keeping them in the uh, boxes they come in, the the cardboard boxes. With it just wasn't working. So um, I've got a friend of mine. Um, I'm actually I actually volunteer for the uh, rescue squad here in my local town. And uh, for those of you that don't know what I do, uh, full time I am a full time paramedic um, on the ambulance, and then I, I volunteer uh, for our rescue squad here locally. And I'm actually here at the rescue squad building. I'll pan around just kind of show you um, our trucks and stuff real quick, and then we're going to get back to this. But what it is, I built a cabinet. I had that we actually were here about one uh, thirty, almost two o'clock last night, building this cabinet. All right, got it all done, and what I'm going to do today is paint it. Um, I was going to put some. Um, some laminate on it but uh i've got some nice uh, high gloss paint black paint i'm gonna paint it i'm gonna trim it out i'm gonna put corners on it handles the works and um by the time i get it done it's gonna look really nice so but anyway uh just kind of show you what i got here this is a this is the actual bay of the rescue squad here um just a couple of our rescue trucks as you can see here um we do uh, vehicle extrication we basically use the jaws of life to get people out of cars, uh, search and rescue, uh, just a bunch of different things is what we do. But this is these are our, these are four of our trucks that we have our, for our response vehicles um, and everything. So, but that's uh, pretty much it. And as you can see here, it's it's a pretty good sized bay. Uh, we have a couple of co couple of the Kawasaki mules and all that wonderful stuff. Here's my cabinet. This is what I've. This is what we created. Um, I was going to do a cabinet that lifted from the top, and the guy that actually, uh, the carpenter, um, uh, our captain here, he said, "Let's let's build a cabinet with doors on it uh, and everything. Be a little easier to roll around for you and things like that, and be op e easier to open and access." So, this is what we've done. Now, like I said, I'm not done with it. I've still got my paint and stuff to do, but as you can see, I've already tried to put one of the part lights. We divided it. I have eight lights. And uh, we have a top and a bottom section. It's turned out really, really, really good. Um, this middle section here, I've got a, I've got another um, nice uh, box. It's a plastic. Uh, it's not like a Tupperware. It's sort of like a Tupperware, or not Tupperware, but uh, Rubbermaid box. But it's not. It's got latches and everything on it. And it's got my um, my four men spots in it so we actually built this cabinet high enough to where i can slide that box in there and still have enough room over here so i'm not really decided i'm thinking about putting another another small shelf uh about i don't know six inches or so uh, maybe not even six inches high four inches high and to put my uh, color strip in so i'm going to try to get all my lighting in this cabinet um the reason why we opted to do the to do the the doors just for the fact that it's going to be a little easier to uh to gain access to stuff uh, we built this little cabinet. We built we built this little hole right here for my base plates. Um, there's actually one on both sides, but I think one's going to be enough to get all my base plates in. So this the little short one down there, um, I may just put cords in it or or whatever. But uh, I've got some metal trim here. I'm gonna trim the corners. At different sizes, I couldn't. I couldn't get all everything I needed in one size. So I'm trying to. I'm using half inch and three quarter inch, um, and I'm gonna just kind of design it. And then I'm gonna buy me some corners to do the corners. Uh, but uh, we've got a couple of boo boos. Here's one of them. You can see it. Just the floor. This this concrete floor just wasn't level. We thought it was, and it wasn't. So some things just didn't cut real well. But I'm gonna paint it completely black. Uh, I'm going to put several coats of paint on it, hopefully getting the wood grain out of it, possibly. But uh, it's got casters on it. I've got some handles for it. Um, I've got some latches. I've already put latches on. We're going to take this back off when I start painting it. But I went ahead and put the latch, went and put the holes in there so I know exactly where to do it. Those latches I actually bought for something else and everything. So we're going to trim it out. I'm probably, probably going to have to buy some more trim. I just bought what I thought we were going to need uh, and everything. But overall, pretty pleased with it. As you can see, it's, I mean, it latches good. It's, it's secure um, and everything. The shelves are just great. So, uh, but we had a boo-boo here too. We had to cut a hole out to get the, 
in, inside latch to work. It just we just didn't have enough room in there. We didn't when we designed it. We should have drilled the hole before we done all that. But no big deal. That's that's life, and we'll we'll deal with it. Like I said, it doesn't match up perfectly. Of course, right now the the pay, the concrete that I'm on is not exactly level either. But uh, overall, I'm very pleased with it, and I think it's going to turn out to be a great little addition to my thing to my company uh, i've got it built to where i can put it against the wall in my trailer and uh, ratchet strap i've got a brand new ratchet strap for it and, and tie downs on the thing so it won't roll around so there you go and we're going to get started here in just a minute i'm painting it and we'll be back and uh, maybe on the next clip i'll show you kind of what we've what we've got started on it so see you on the next clip hey youtube here we go again this is the sort of final sort of the final thing uh we trim we, we got it trimmed out for the most part i didn't have enough trim to do from here down and along the base so i've got to get some more trim but uh here's the back side of it trimmed out all the way around uh, we've got a couple of screws that are right in here and i think i'm going to do a just a regular straight piece of aluminum but uh and the door, I've got to finish that door. But it has, there's half the door. But it's all finished up. It's all blacked out. It's got handles on two sides. i got to get handles on the other side. But uh, latch. Latch. And there you have it. Lights on top. Lights on bottom. Uh, center for whatever I want it for and then uh, of course we got handles over here I'm gonna, I got to get two more handles to put to put on the other side so but my helpers over here hi guys DJ a1 and of course Brandon helped me out tonight a little carpentry work but there you have it that's not gonna be my lighting cabinet um, may, may put a may possibly put a hook, a, a plate here to, to ratchet back to the back of my trailer. I don't know yet. And of course, I may just use these. I mean, they'll, they'll work pretty much the same way. So there you have it. May put some trim here. I don't know yet. I don't think I can because the doors won't go close completely. But uh, it looks good. I'm pleased. I'm tickled to death. Um, finish the trim up on it. Shouldn't take long. Shouldn't take more than an hour to finish the trim up. So... Yeah, could put a flat piece of trim down the front, but uh, there you have it. That's what it's looking like. It's just about done. It's it's usable. Wheels, you can see the wheels underneath there. Great wheels. It, it, it rolls around. It rolls around perfectly. So, but uh, there you have it. Comment on it. Tell me what you think. Um, I opted two options. I either opted with a lid that come up or um, the doors that open. And I like the doors that open because I could stack, stack it, and I actually got more room out of it this way. It's a pretty good size cabinet. It's a 48 by, I think it's 48 by 40, I believe, is what it is, the size of the cabinet. But I'm pleased with it. Uh, the black, I may put another, I may put another coat of paint on it. I don't know yet. Uh, probably not because it means I'm going to take all the trim back off or cover the trim up. So we'll probably just leave it as is. But I can. I can cover it up if I have to and you know, and, and paint it again. But I think that's as far as we're going to go with it. It looks good. I'm pleased. Uh, possibly put this in front, of the, in front of the system and maybe put a logo on it. Or um, I even thought about even putting the, um, my flat screen on top of it, facing, facing this towards the crowd um, and uh, putting my flat screen on it. So just thought anyway. But there you have it. Practice and enjoy.